You got two uh, hires to start us off from the same game. Maybe the biggest offseason loss was Aaron Donald for the Rams. We saw it on Sunday night against the Lions. They got run over by Montgomery and Gibbs. I know it's only been one week, but they rank last in rush EPA and rush success rate already. Uh, so I think we're going to see a heavy dose of James Conner, who looked pretty good against the Bills, at least until they got down. And his number is 63 and a half rush yards. Uh, so I like higher there. And I think it's real easy to just pair that with Cooper Cup. Now that Puka Nakua is out, I mean, we saw him draw 21 targets against the Lions, crazy. which is a crazy number. Yeah, he caught 14 for 110, and his number's sitting at 86 and a half. I was expecting to see it in the 90s, so I like higher there. Um, and you can combine those two for a nice little multiplier. What about you, Scott? What do you like? Uh, I like those. Those uh, those make a lot of sense to me. Uh, we had a, we had a pretty good uh, pretty good week picking last week. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, wide receivers this week. Uh, I think from anybody who listens to me knows that I love I love wide receivers who were bad the week before, or bad a couple weeks before. Um, I think that uh, I think that wide receiver squeaky wheel is a wheel a real thing, especially in you know, practice all week. So my first one is going to be uh, Chris Olave with the uh, with the New Orleans Saints. Uh, really bad week last week. They killed they killed Carolina. He had two catches for eleven yards. Um, I think he's going to be in uh, in Derek Carr's. Uh, Derek Carr's ear all week long. I I really like the higher than 4.5 catches on Olave this week. I don't know, you know, I didn't want to mess with the yards. Uh, they're they're playing at Dallas. Uh, just the thought that Dallas is going to have the lead in that game. Dallas will score points. We saw Dallas score points against Cleveland, a really good defense. Uh, I think that uh, New Orleans have to throw the ball a lot. Love the uh, love the higher than four and a half catches. I just think they're going to force a lot of balls to him, especially early on. I think they're going to game script some stuff to make sure that he gets touches early on. If you get him. You know, if they say three catches in the first quarter. You're pretty much pretty much guaranteed to get over, uh, get to higher than four and a half catches in the game. So, I really uh, I really like that. Um, so I'm going to go Olave higher there, and then uh, I'm going to go with someone uh, in, a, in one of the afternoon games, uh, Rasheed Rice. I think that uh, I think Rasheed Rice is the number one uh, target in Kansas City now. I think that uh, Travis Kelsey's 35. He's still going to be very involved, but I think week to week, I think Rasheed Rice is the guy right now. We saw that Xavier Worthy. You know, scored twice. He only had three touches. I think that Rasheed Weiss is the, number, is the number one guy here. I think Mahomes is throwing the ball deeper. He had his highest uh, YPA yards per attempt of uh, higher than any game in 2023 last week. He was over 10, um, you know, again, in that in the Thursday night game against Baltimore. So I'm going Rasheed Rice higher than 67 and a half receiving yards. I just think this line is too low. Um, he was uh, seven for 103 on nine targets last week. He had 33% of the Chiefs team targets. I just think if you get anybody that's that heavily targeted by Patrick Mahomes, the best quarterback in the world, I just think that uh, I think the, I think Rice goes higher. I think he's really talented. Uh, six, seven and a half uh, receiving yards seems low to me. Anytime we get him under 70 all year, I'm going to uh, jump on that one. And uh, just to mix it up a little bit, I'm going to go with a third. I'm going to go with a defensive player this week, Ryan. I'm going to go Zach Allen, uh, Broncos left defensive end, higher than 0.5 sacks. You get a 1.53 multiplier on uh, on that selection with Zach Allen, so you can uh, you can pair that with some other ones and kind of you know boost up your multiplier a little bit. He's playing Justin Fields, what it comes down to. I love that for Justin Fields. Loves to take sacks. He. Uh, Fields didn't get a lot of pressure last week from the Falcons, but still took a sack or two. He just loves throwing around, loves to take sacks. He's not decisive with the ball when he doesn't get it out quick. I think Zach Allen is primed to get a sack, a sack and a half, two sacks a week. I love the uh, the higher than uh, the .5 sacks this week. I think he sacks Fields for sure. So I'm taking that one, Brian. We've got a couple seconds left here uh, on these picks. Uh, why don't you give me? Uh, why don't you give me one or two more? I know you've got some stocked up there. Sure, yeah. Maybe a couple you could pair with Olave in that game. I think it's um I think the Cowboys passing game reminds us how good they were. Uh they didn't really need to show it last week uh, against sort of a tough defense in the Browns. And yeah. you know, they did it with defense and kind of got ahead early. But Marshawn Lattimore is dealing with multiple injuries for the Saints. He might miss this one. Turin Matthew is also dealing with injuries. So yeah, the banged up secondary. I think C D and Dak then both their numbers were low to me. CD's was 85 and a half. I thought I would see his at 90. And then Dak at, at 253 and a half. I get that maybe, you know, there's some blowout risk, but I think we saw enough from the Saints that maybe they can hang around. So yeah, I think a bounce back spot for the Cowboys passing game here, higher on CD Lamb and Dak Prescott. 
I think uh, I think the Saints do enough to hang in there too. I think I mean I know that Carolina's terrible, so you can't really take much from that game. But I think the Saints are uh, you know a, a decent team. I don't think uh, I, I think that I don't think we're looking at uh, deep in the playoffs. But I think they're a decent enough team they can compete. Um, you know, I never loved Derek Carr, but I think he can get the ball out. I think he can keep the keep them in that game. I, I like that. Uh, I like that uh, play also there with uh, with Dak and CD. And you got to think that uh, they want to open up a little bit. We saw across the NFL last week. You know, low uh, passing yards, low like the lowest passing touchdowns, to something like in the two thousands uh, for for a week one. So I think that turns around a bunch this week. I think that uh, you know none of these guys played in the preseason any real minutes. So I think that uh, yes, last week was kind of the kind of the you know preseason uh, part two, just a little bit of every getting get some rust off. So I like that too. I uh, want to thank uh, everybody for tuning in for uh, our Underdog Picks this week. Again, if you want to use code RWPICKS, you get some bonus cash there from Underdog. We appreciate you tuning in. Really good luck this week. Uh, hope uh, hope you have a good one, and we're back at you next week with more picks from Underdog. Good luck, everybody.